Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about 10 baby names that I love but will not be using this time around. All right, so this list of names, um, actually all of the names on this list I would consider using for a future child. So even though we are not using them this time around, I would love to use them for a future baby. Um, for those of you who do not know, we are having a boy this time around and his name is Set. His name is picked out. I had my husband to help me come up with this list of names. A lot of these are names that I like, but the last few are a couple that he added in as well, and I didn't know that he liked these names. I also have my three-year-old running around in the background, like usual. First name on the list. Now, my husband and I, we like more unique names. I, I would say more unique names. Nothing too crazy, but just maybe something that we haven't heard a million times. The first name on the list is Renly, which is W-R-E-N-L-E-Y. And I'll probably have like a little like spell out for you guys here. I love the name Renly. In fact, if I have another little girl, I would love to name her Renly because I like the name Ren for a nickname. I just think it's so sweet. It's kind of like a hippie name. I don't know, I just think of this sweet little girl, blonde curly hair. I just imagine a sweet little girl, curly curly hair, running around, and I love the nickname Ren. Ren kind of runs into the second name that I like, and that is Sienna. Now, if I have a girl, next I'd love for her name to be Renly Sienna. I just think it's such a pretty name. I think Sienna is like the perfect Ah, it's like another hippie name kind of. I don't know, I told you guys, I kind of like those unique names, but uh, I just think it's so pretty and so dainty, uh, but yet it kind of has like this edge to it. I love it. Getting into a couple boys' names here. I love the name Knox. Now, if I had my way, I would have my soon-to-be baby boy's um, middle name be Knox, um, but we are passing down a family name for this baby boy for his middle name. The next name on my list is Rhett, as in like Thomas Rhett. Um, if I were to have another little boy, I'd love to name him Rhett. I love the name Knox and I love the name Rhett. I just don't feel like those two names go together. Rhett Knox or Knox Rhett, it just, I don't know. It doesn't seem to flow, but I love those two names. And if I were to have another baby boy in the future, I'd probably use one of those names. Now the next name on my list is another baby boy name, and it was almost going to be this baby boy's name, and that is Kaisen with a K. And my husband and I, ever since we had Kaya, or ever since we found out that we were pregnant the first time around, and that was with my daughter Kaya, um, if she would have been a boy, she would have been Kaisen. Now, the reason why we didn't go with that name this time around is because there are so many Kaisens these days. It's just a very popular name. So we decided against it because of that. Like I said, we like more, you know, oh my gosh, girlfriend, what happened to your hair? <laughs> Did you take your bun out? Yeah, I'm cute. <laughs> the next name on my list is very similar to Renly, and that is Henley. I love the name Henley. In fact, I actually know a girl who recently named her baby Henley, and I just thought that was the sweetest name. I think it's so dainty and cute and is perfect for a little girl. Next name on my list, I feel that my sister is going to appreciate because it's very close to her name. My sister's name is McKenna, and we call her Kenna. Um, but I love the name Kiana. I think Kiana is really cute. You see a pattern here, you guys. Sienna, Henley, Kiana, Renly. I kind of like the same names, just with like different, like, first letters. But I love the name Kiana. I think it's super pretty. And that kind of ties in with the next name on my list as well. Again, there's a pattern here, you guys. I love the name Kira. 
Um, I think it's very pretty. I love K names and I love R names. And it's very obvious on my list. I feel for R's and K's, they can be such strong man names. And for girls, I feel like they can be so dainty and sweet and just kind of like fairy sounding, hippie sounding. I love them. The last two names on my list are actually names that Mike picked out. And the first one is Oliver. And I love the name Oliver. I have considered it for my boy's name for a long time because I love the nickname Ollie. I think it's so cute and I just, of course I always imagine daily bum so I always think of like a blonde hair, blue eyed little boy, super sweet, chubby cheeks and just a little gentleman. I love the name Oliver. And the last name on my list, you guys, is another name that Mike came up with, and that is Riley. Now, I didn't even know that he liked that name, but it is very sweet. And I think it'd be really cute to go with um, either gender. I think Riley for a girl or Riley for a boy would be super sweet. Kind of like Charlie. I love the name Charlie for a girl too, but I think it is a very cute and a name that has kind of been lost a little bit too. I feel like that name was much more common a while ago and and I haven't heard anybody with that name for a long time. All right, well that is my 10 baby names that I love but will not be using this time around. They're very possibly going to be the names of our future children but they're not names that we are using this time around. That is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing what my favorite baby names are. I would love to hear what your favorite baby names are in the comments as well down below. If you like this video on my channel, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe before you leave. Turn on that bell notification so you don't miss out when I upload a video. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas day nine, I think we're on now. I'm losing count, guys. All right, bye.